so <clears throat> unfortunately I recorded this video before and as I was editing it um, it got deleted um, from the app that I was editing it in and then apparently that deletes it from the phone so I'm restarting this uh, video and then I'm gonna record this really quick and then get it edited so I can upload this series but uh, because this will be the first video, I will go ahead and explain what I'm doing here. My name is Tisha Janelle, and I'm going to, um, I'm making a segment of, used to be eight, but now it's seven videos, um, regarding college, excuse me, I'm sorry, um, regarding college and the ex experience and my experience and basically advice on, um, stuff that I wish I would have known so what I did was thought of eight different topics and two of them are combined into one video that's why I say eight and it's only going to be seven videos um basically on things these topics are things that I wish I would have either researched more or asked about more or even um just knew a little bit more about when I was start starting my experience so I'm going to hop right into the first um topic just so I can shorten this video just a little bit um, but the first topic is probably one of the most important ones um, it is one other one that I think is a little more important than this but um, basically your major uh, I'm gonna be looking over here because um, I have some notes written up on my laptop or typed up on my laptop and I want to make sure that I hit the key points um, basically this whole segment is just going to be like my experience mixed with some of advice and also like uh, an open forum in a comment section so you guys can like talk it through with each other and then also I'll, I will definitely comment on every uh, comment reply back to every comment that I receive um, and make sure you guys are uh, getting the help you need and directing you to research and also like answering questions if I can myself so back to the situation uh, major so the first thing I wanted to discuss with your major is it's very important like I can't even say how important it is just because I feel like you guys should know how important it is um, your major is basically like what steers your academic career like so you're in college and basically your major is why you're in college um f very few people I've ever met that wasn't in college for academics you know like that doesn't make sense so basically <clears throat> it's very important that you guys pick the major that you really 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 um connect with and really 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 uh makes you happy I really want you guys to uh, really think about it for yourself discuss it with people but don't take their advice too much on that. I'm gonna touch on that just a little bit but make sure you guys are like sitting down and actually thinking about the things that you want in college and out of college you know like what do what career do I want what do I want to um, what do I want to use this degree for um, also like how much do I want to enjoy the next four years or how much do I want to just sit through class the next four years or however many uh, years it takes you to complete and even if you're not non-traditional student um, I just want to make sure you guys like all feel included but looking at the notes um, one thing to remember is that in the beginning you're not stuck with the major that you already chose um, it's not like they stamp it on you on your forehead and that's like the only thing you wear for the next four years or however many years um, I will say that like by your junior year sh you should really know what you want to do as far as like your major comp as far as your major is uh, concerned because if you change your major like junior year maybe I would give it like till sem uh, second semester of junior year like that's when you start adding on classes and I mean not classes well you will add classes but that's when you start adding on years and semesters and money to your experience so you want to make sure that at least by your junior year you're trying to make sure that you're staying in the major that you have chosen so um, that segues into um, 
basically picking a major that's for you um this video is not going to be on to how to choose a major because i can't sit with each and one, every one of y'all individually and talk to you guys about what interests you have but i will say like if anything you guys should um <clears throat> really think about what what topic in high school made you happy um and use that as a guide so like college is obviously a lot more detailed than just science or just um English or just this or just that you can study so many different things but if you can use high school as like a guideline to what you would like to study in the future so like for me I really resonated with science in high school and um, now my major is biology so um, for very many reasons but that's just one of them um, so I wanted to make sure you uh, that I study science because that was something that really drove me in high school and also like that um kind of ties in with my direct uh my career path um and that brings us to our next topic um i'm sorry i'm saying um a lot it just really got me discombobulated which is not a word that i deleted that video like i'm so mad but i'm messing around with like some storage and all this extra stuff and it's really getting to me so um <clears throat> The next point is just because, okay, so these are the people that seek in something after your four year or five year, whatever undergrad degree. Um, make sure you guys research what school you're going, not what school, but like what type of school you're going to after undergrad if you are seeking that. Because when you're going to professional school, it's not all about your major. You don't have to pick the major that you feel like ties in with that the best, such as biology with pre-med. Most pre-med, like most medical schools don't even want you to have biology as a major. They want like well-roundedness in most situations. So luckily I'm getting that from other experiences that I will talk about further in these videos or in this segment. But, um... They want you to be well-rounded. So if biology is not what you like to do, I mean, heck, major in whatever you want. African-American studies, major in political science, major in art, major in, you know, like whatever you decide to resonate with. And then make sure that you're doing the prerequisites that is required for that major. I mean, for that career path. And I can get into that if you guys need it. And I'll also leave my email below so you can email me or... Uh, make this like a full open forum in the comment section so you guys can talk this through and I can answer questions and stuff like that like I said earlier I will be answering every single comment that I get um but make sure you guys do that research because for me if I would have researched it a little bit more I would have known that biology is probably not the only thing that you can get into medical school with and I, when I say probably that's definitely uh for sure. So um, I maybe would have went into a different science. I know science is where I wanted to go, but I would have went into a different science um, if I would have known that. Like trust and believe. I understand and I love biology um, and I love my degree, but some of the oh, um, some of the um, some of the classes that I have to take is kind of like not my cup of tea. And if I could like take have a different major where I talk about more of the, about the human body rather than like evolution and like randomness uh I would definitely have like that instead um the next one is kind of touchy and I don't want anybody to get offended I know this is my first video so I'm not trying to set my toes already but like I said well I didn't say I said in the last video that I recorded and then I had to freaking delete it I went and deleted it um but um, this is my pedestal. This is my open forum. So if you really don't like my advice, I'm so sorry. I apologize to you. I pray for you. But um, this is my YouTube channel. So I'm going to kind of like say what I want. Um, but at the end of the day, make sure you're... I'm going to rephrase it so it's a little softer. Make sure you are choosing your major for you. You are the one that's going to sit in class. You are the one that's going to make the good grades. You're the one that's going to, sorry, my computer, like, timed out. Um, you are the one that's going to make the good grades. And you are the one that's going to walk across the stage with the degree. And if you're anything like me, I want to look at that degree and be far proud of it. And I want to be happy that I got that degree. Um, so I make sure, I make sure that 
when I was choosing my major, I did it for myself and not for other people. I see a lot of that in um, the college that I go to. Um, they, I basically run into people that made the decisions because of their parents or because of their uh, spouses or something like that. And it's just so, it's not sad, but it's so disheartening to see someone be basically forced into an education that they don't really have a passion for so um if you're anything like me this whole big word of passion intimidates me just a bit so i wouldn't say like find your passion and stick with it but i would say um <clears throat> make sure that you are doing your degree for you unless you are under some strange circumstance to where you have to go back to school for someone else or like to make something happen or something like that or you're already in a career path where you just need extra schooling in it but just make sure if you're starting out fresh if you're going back to school if you're doing all this extra stuff make sure that your major is for you because it will make it a lot easier on you throughout your experience um and then last point i want to keep this video under like 13 minutes i apologize it's so long um <clears throat> make sure you research 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 make sure that you have i wouldn't say everything that you need but make sure you are well equipped and understand completely what you're getting yourself into um as far as your major and stuff like that your major and also your school in general you need to make sure that you know i'm talking about when the school was in pampers like when it was first starting out you need to know like what was it founded on what are their core values what do they like what do they don't like how often do they go up in price how you know like what drives the decisions is it just a board or is it student led or all of this extra stuff um you got to make sure that you know these things because you need a school that's going to cater to you and make sure that you are your best you um so like in my situation i go to a liberal arts school and that really doesn't have anything to do with me as far as like the art segment of it however it is like a student-based school so it makes it easier and for students to make decisions and it's very student-led so I really like that about my school and I learned to appreciate the things that I didn't fir at first appreciate about my school so make sure you're doing your research and you pick a school that's for you um, if you need a video on that or uh, advice on that just let me know like I said in the comment section email me I'll leave that below and um, like comment and subscribe so you can get the rest of these videos sent straight to your uh feed so you don't have to go and look for them or anything like that so thanks for watching thanks for tuning in and i look forward to hearing from you guys in the comments